This morning we have important news from Italy where President Biden is meeting with other world leaders at the this year's G7 summit. They got a big agenda, including talking about more aid for Ukraine as it tries to hold off Russia's army. Nancy Cordes is there in southern Italy for us. She's covering the G7. The weather looks good. Nancy, good morning. <laughs> it sure is nice, Tony. Uh, the big news today is this long-term security agreement that President Biden is going to be signing with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. It essentially commits the U.S. to supporting Ukraine for the next 10 years. We're talking about military training, weapons assistance, intelligence sharing, and more. 15 other nations have already signed similar agreements, and this deal does not commit any U.S. troops to Ukraine's fight against Russia. Now, this signing is going to come about a week after Biden met with Zelensky during his trip to France. And you might recall Biden publicly apologized during that meeting to Zelensky for the six-month congressional delay in approving more military aid to Ukraine. Here in Italy, Biden and the other G7 leaders are hoping to finalize a plan for a $50 billion loan to Ukraine so that the country can do things like rebuild infrastructure that has been destroyed, produce more of its own weaponry so it doesn't have to rely on the rest of the world. And here's the interesting part. The loan would be paid back using the interest from Russian assets that have been frozen by countries around the world since Russia invaded Ukraine two and a half years ago. Uh, back to this 10-year agreement for a moment. It is meant to send a message to Russia that the U.S. is not going anywhere, even if this war drags on. But it is not binding. It is not a treaty, which means it could be rolled back by Donald Trump if he wins in November. Gail? A lot to think about there. Nancy Cordes at the G7 Summit. We thank you.